Hey guys, I'm Natasha Williams from Quantum Change and I'm a life transformation specialist. And what I want to discuss in this video today is how you actually should take ownership of your health. And um, you probably know by now that I believe in holistic healing rather than allopathic medicine. And this is because in the good old days, doctors used to look into the patient's situation. They would get to know the family. They'd come and visit you at the house. They'd know where your mom and dad were. They'd know how, where you worked. And they'd have an understanding of what caused the stress. Where nowadays, doctors are so overworked that they've actually literally got five minutes to see a patient. They write down a list of symptoms, and it's all based on symptomatic uh, treatments. So they will give you medicine based on what you've listed, rather than what's actually underlying and what's causing it. And I just want to give you two examples of a situation like that and how it can actually uh, resolve. And I'll, and I'll just talk about my own situation. So when I was younger, I worked on a passenger ship in Holland, in the Rhine, on the Rhine. And I was uh, being a foreigner. I didn't know anybody there. And I was, um, I was actually uh, picked on by the purser of the ship. He didn't like me very much because I was working too effectively and he told me I was lazy another story for another day but what happened was I was so stressed and I started getting a pain in my hip to the point that I couldn't even sleep at night it used to throb so badly that I would start lying on my other hip and then it started affecting my left hip and I couldn't walk anymore it was just too painful and my wrist started hurting and my elbow started hurting also on my right side and when I got off the ship, I went to see a doctor. And rather than the doctor telling me, well, this is your problem, he actually sat me down and said, what's going on in your life? And I said, why? And he said, well, it seems like you are just so highly stressed and that there's nobody here for you. And I wasn't expecting to hear that. And so I burst out crying because he hit the nail on the head. I didn't know anybody. I was uh, picked on by the purser. I was completely isolated. And what had happened was my body was actually contracting. All my muscles were contracting, especially on my right side. And it was pulling the ligaments in my joints so that they started bleeding. And these were little micro tears that were actually causing the pain. And it was a result of stress. So he could um, give me muscle relaxants, which would help. But at the end of the day, you have to get yourself out of that stressful situation. And that was my first encounter with a doctor who actually looked into my situation like the good old days, then a doctor who just looked at a current situation and wanted to treat it and charge me a huge amount of money. So another incident that happened years later is I was, um, I had a muscle ache between my shoulder blades and I went to see a homeopath and he said to me, I'm not going to give you medication because you're going to ignore this muscle ache and then you're going to work these muscles too hard. So I want you to feel it. By the end of that day, it, I was in such pain that I couldn't breathe. And of course, I went on to Google and Dr. Google, with all the symptoms that I could see, I thought I was having a heart attack. And so I landed up at ICU. Um, they needed a few thousand rand for me to be admitted. And then I was put straight onto a drip. I was put straight onto a heart monitor. And the doctors that came in didn't even take one moment to look at me physically. They didn't ask me any questions. And an hour after me being there, the one doctor came in and said to me, you're actually quite fit. And I said, yes, I am. How do you know? And he said, your heart rate shows that you're very fit. And it turns out that I actually had a muscle spasm that could have been easily resolved had someone just taken the time to look. And the biggest problem that I have personally with doctors who are in it just for the money is all they did was put me on machines. Nobody even took the time to ask me just one or two questions to find out what is actually going on rather than react in this mode where they just wanted a few thousand rand up front. And so my message today to you is please take your health in your hands. If you are going to go, if you have a, a, a infection in your lungs, let's say you've got asthma or bronchitis, and you go see a doctor, you know that they will prescribe you antibiotics. If you go to a priest, he will tell you to pray. If you go to a homeopath, he will tell you to take homeopathic tinctures. So at the end of the day, it's who you go to see and always get a second opinion. 
because some doctors can help you in certain areas, but maybe they can't help in others. Um, last year, I had a very severe fungal infection in my body. I had black mold, and I discovered that it was all over my mattress, and it had got into my clothes, into my furniture, and antibiotics will do nothing. If anything, they will actually harm your immune system. And the medical field is not as aware of black mold as they should be. Um, and so it's about finding answers on your own. And the thing is, if they were more aware, if they had been given more uh, information, perhaps they wouldn't be so free to treat it. And maybe there's no money in it for them because they can't prescribe antibiotics for mold. And maybe that's what it's about. So there are good doctors out there, but there are also doctors out there that are just out there for your money. So that's just my word of caution to you, is take ownership of your uh, life and of your health. And I want to, next the next couple of videos, I'm going to discuss with you some remedies that will help you, that you can use at home, that are available either online or over the counter that will heal certain ailments better than the traditional drugs out there with a lot less side effects. I hope this helps you and please do subscribe to my videos if you'd like more content like this and also please like or comment. I will reply to every single comment. I'd love to hear from you and if there's anything else you'd like to hear about also do let me know and you have an awesome week.